Hello and welcome back to another Terraria video. And today, as I said, this is the next video that's coming out today because I didn't do one yesterday. I will be showcasing how to find the Arcalis, Ar uh, Arcalis, or the Enchanted Sword. Now, most of the time, you're going to be finding the Enchanted Sword when you do this because I'm not actually sure about these chances. This is what I think, as far as I can remember. There's a 1 in 30% chance that you find a shrine that's actually real. And when you break that shrine, you then have a 1 in 10 chance to get the Arcalis, and you have a 9 out of 10 chance to get the Enchanted Sword. So, what you're going to want to do is generate a medium world. Not a small one, because there's not very many. No, not a large one, because there's, there's still not as many. So you want to go in, create a new world, make sure this is a... An, um, a <clears throat> This is a medium world, and it can be normal or expert, doesn't matter, and any one you want, any evil thing. And then all you have to do is just, I'm going to name this, um, Ark Halle's World. You're going to generate a world. And it shouldn't take too long, obviously, it's just generating a normal world. So, when we go in this world... What we're going to be doing is looking for the Arcalis. So there's a few things that we're going to need to get to actually be able to find the Arcalis. And they're all pretty easy. You may be able to find this weapon very, very easily and shorten to the game. So as soon as it loads, I'm going to tell you what we need to get. Okay, so now we are in the world. The world is loaded up. And all you need to do to find the Arcalis is a few simple steps, and you can follow these very easily. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you need to have an axe, any kind of axe, anything that can chop a tree, for that matter. All you need to do is get some wood, right? You just get a little bit of wood, get what, just take this wood, right? All we have to do is make a crafting table, or a workbench, my bad. We make a workbench, and then I'm, oh, looks like I need some more wood, so you're going to get a little bit more wood. You're going to make sure that you can make a wooden bow. You can delete the, all the rest of the wood. You don't need any more wood anymore. You're just going to get a wooden bow. Right? Okay. So now that you have this, now that you have this wooden bow, seems pretty useless, right? But all we have to do is start walking to the side of the world. We're just going to walk to the left or right. It doesn't matter. We just have to start walking. So on the way there, you should probably walk at nighttime. So, if you're walking at nighttime, you have a chance to pick up stars, which you need stars and arrows. They're the only other two things you're going to need. You need stars and arrows. And you want to know why you need stars and arrows? Because we need to make jester arrows. Right here. You see these? We're, I'm going to continue walking as I do this. You're going to make jester arrows. So just make a pile of these. You, only need, you don't need too many. Only a certain amount. You don't need too many. Only a bit. But once you get jester arrows and you have a wooden bow, you're set. You're set to go. All we need to do now is just walk across the world until we get all the way to the edge. And I'll see you guys when I get there. Guys, I have made it to this side of the world. So, once you are about here in the world, now I, I know my map's completely revealed, don't worry about it, it's just it's to make things easier for myself. Not You do not need to have your map revealed to do this, but you're going to make your way all the way to the outer third of the world. So we look at the middle of the world, about where the guide is, right? We have to be somewhere on the outer third of the world. So like, from here to the left, and from like here to the right. You have to be in the outer third. Now you're going to take your bow and your jester arrow, and you're going to need to make sure that you're in the normal biome of the world. You have to make sure you're only in this normal area of the world, not the desert, only here. And you're going to shoot these at the ground. And they're going to provide a bunch of light under the ground, and you're just going to keep shooting them under the ground and see what's under there. We're just going to keep doing this. Let me just kill some slimes. There's stuff coming after me. Um... We're going to shoot these until you see a hole that's going straight into the ground. Like a very deep looking hole going straight down into the ground. And just keep shooting, keep looking. Oh my game just freaked out there. But we're just going to keep shooting these, keep looking for it. Until we find ourselves a hole that goes very deep down, straight down into the world. So I'll, I'm going to make my way over there to where this thing could be. Now, there's a three in, in a medium world that can be anywhere um, on the outer third of the world in a normal biome. So I'm just going to keep looking, and I'll tell you guys if I find one. Look in. It's right there. See that down there? 
that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a hole like that. And since I have the ability to teleport, I'm just going to teleport down there. Uh, if I can. There we go. I'm going to teleport down. You don't have to teleport. You can just dig like I'm about to right here. All you have to do is dig down this hole. Nice down. Um, now, it's not very light in here. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't uh, bring torches. But you see... Uh, actually, let me get some torches really quick. Okay, guys. So, we have torches. You see how this sword right here, right there, that sword in front of me right there, that sword is brown. That means that we this one's not going to do anything. So, when we break this... Nothing is going to happen. It's not going to do anything. So we have to keep looking for these Arcala Shrines until we get all the way out of the whole normal biome in the world. And we can have to do this all the way on the left, on the right side of the world, too. We have to keep looking for the Shrines. So I'll see you guys on the right side. I'm just going to continue looking for the Arcalis by shooting arrows at the ground until we see... There we go. See, there's one right there. All we have to do, dig straight down into the ground on top of this hole right here. You know, just dig down this hole because this means that the Arcalis is nearby. That means we can just keep digging until we find the Arcalis all the way down at the bottom. Now, th they can be very deep. There's a chance they can be deep. And again, we found a fake one, so we're just going to have to break this one, and nothing's going to happen, sadly. We have to find one that's blue. And this one, this is the one that you want. You see how this sword in the in the shrine is blue here? That means that you can actually find the Arcalis in here. So what you have, like I said, there's a 1 in 10 chance that you will find the Arcalis when you break this, but there's a 9 in 10 chance that you get the Enchanted Sword. So let's, you can, what you can do is you can go in here and you can turn off autosave and then break it and then close, force close the game and then get back in and keep trying over and over again and walking all the way back to the edge of the world and doing it again if you really want to get the um, Arcalis. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break it and see what we get. So this time, see, I got the 1 in 10 chance, but you got the Arcalis, guys. This is a 1 in 10 chance to get the Arcalis, and 9 of the 10 times you won't get the Arcalis. So I'm going to show you what happens. Um, I'm going to break another one in a different world. You can keep if, you, if they're all fake shrines, you can generate a whole new world, and you can go look for more shrines in that world with the Jester Arrows until you have found a shrine with a real one in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop onto another world, and I'm going to break a different one and show you what the Enchanted Sword is. Because this sword, it's like... It does, it's pretty good, it does 20 damage, especially for the beginning, it's, and you can just swing it around, and it just hits enemies multiple times, but I'll be right back with you guys on the other world. So guys, actually the footage didn't re uh, record right, this is me talking afterward, so I'm gonna have to end the video here, but you just have to trust me that you're able to find the Arcalis, uh, I mean the Enchanted Sword out of them, it's actually, like I keep saying, it's a 9 in 10 chance to get the Enchanted Sword, and a 1 in 10 to get the Arcalis. I would show some footage, but it got deleted or corrupted or something, so I'm going to have to end the video here. See you guys later. Bye!